harder. That's it. That's it. Look at your dad. I just got out of the pool and I'm sitting here trying to get dry. Here we are at the Al Hearts with the master chef, Gene Al Hart, standing here playing around with some frozen hot dogs and with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Lennox from California who are supervising the cooking. Yeah, we're very glad to be here too. It's just wonderful. How about it, dear? Oh, after that wonderful swim, I bet I can eat a half a dozen. <laughs> well, let's put on six more then. Six more yeah. for uh, six, six, six more. more. Hot dogs. Here they go. Uh oh, what's going on here? Oh, here he comes right around to take a look at the hot dogs and the hamburgers. Coming to visit here from California. It's wonderful. <laughs> How long can we stay? Um, maybe a year. Oh, that's real sweet of you. We have thoroughly enjoyed being with you and the four grandchildren. Come and see us sometime, okay? Right, oh. Stop and get your Coney Red Hots. They're all ready. They're all hot. They're all ready. The Coney Island Red Hots. Want one, Shirley? Lydia, do you want a Coney Island Red Hot? They're all ready. They're nice and... Crispy. Our 47th wedding anniversary, this is my tribute to you. Addressed to my very dearest. Two score years and seven have passed since you and I were wed. The time has gone by very fast since the I do's we said. Go ahead. Each passing day, I love you more for all you've meant to me. Even greater than in days of yore is my deep love for thee. To manifest the full extent of the affection that I hold could not be done whate'er I spent in gift or glittering gold. This token I shall hand to you of my esteem after seven and forty with it buy some trinkets few, or e'en apparel sporty. This is the end of the tribute. This is the end of the tribute to my wife on our 47th wedding anniversary. Well, what, what, what is that? What, no, what is 